Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will try to analyze the normal distribution curve to find out the area of standard normal curve between some certain values that is given over here. Okay, so we will try to analyze that. So let us start with the first one. So we need to find the area of standard normal curve between the first one is z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 1.55. So I have to draw the curve first to analyze the thing first, okay? So I'll draw one curve where it will be bell shaped. It varies from minus infinity to infinity z values. Now here, this point z is equal to zero. Now the thing is that we have to take from z is equal to zero to z is equal to 1.5. So 1.5 is somewhere around this I can take. So this will be around 1.55 okay so we have to take the area between these two values 0 and 1.15 so i have to calculate this area correct for that what what i should do p of z which varies from 0 to infinite but we need to calculate from 0 to 1.5 so 0 to 1.5 5 5 remember equal to sign also okay now see 0 to 1.55 so one more thing you have to remember is that so this value will be equal to phi of 1.55 itself now what is the meaning of this say is that whenever you have to calculate from 0 to some value okay you can directly go for the phi of that so basically this means what this means from 0 to 1.5 this is the meaning of this from 0 to 1.5 so from 0 to 1.5 we need to calculate the area that means the probability of 0 z lies between 0 to 1.5 which means that is nothing but phi of 1.5 some of the test books may use another variable a also some of it's the same thing a of some value that is 1.5 now the thing is that how to calculate a of this thing one proba normal probability table is also there from that also you can calculate but thing is i'll show you how to calculate by what calci okay now the thing is that first uh, you should go for what the mode okay first uh, you should go for the mode mode then select the third option then press first one then press on on button now your calci has been changed it towards stat okay now what you have to do you have to feed the function how to do that press shift and then the stat one that is one okay shift and one here it is written over here stat okay that's why shift to one you have to you have to select the fifth option okay I would select what fifth option in that you will get second one that is this Q you have to select Q now Q of something means that is I indirectly means that you are finding the phi value or we can say a or any variable okay so phi of that now it is given the what is the value given here 1.55 so 1.55 I have to fade and I have to press equal to so I'll get the value of 0 0.439 so what will be the value of this so the value will be 0 0.43943 so this will be my value for what it is nothing but the area of standard normal curve when it lies when the z value lies between 0 to 1.5 so whenever it is given 0 to 1.5 so we'll take up another problem another sum so that you can get uh, a good idea about this okay now in the second problem z is equal to minus 0.86 and z is equal to 0 now from 0 to minus so minus will be around somewhere here so i will take it here minus 0 0.86 so z is equal to minus 0 0.86 now we have to calculate the area between these two z is equal to 0 and z is equal to minus 8.6 minus 0 0.86 okay so this area we need to calculate it's the same same thing like ultra of the previous one correct 
here it is negative earlier it was positive the thing is same so whenever it is given from 0 to 0.86 some other some of the other value from 0 it is given then you can directly go forward phi of that value what is this minus 0 0.86 one more thing you can remember that it indirectly i will show you with the calculator we can say that it is nothing but 0 0.86 both are equal okay so whenever you get minus sign you think that it is nothing but positive i will take up the other example so that you will get the idea about this okay so i'll just show you how to calculate this again you have to go for the calci okay the same thing you have to do again so what you have to do the q value we have to give it as what suppose i if i give 0 0.86 minus 0 0.86 then what happens it will give me the answer as 0. Point, so 0. 0.30511 so this is the answer okay now you suppose i change it to positive 0. 0.86 what happens it gives me the same value that means if at all they give you negative value also you can take it as positive itself okay so what will be the value of this 0. 0.3051 will be the value so always remember when the whenever they ask you from 0 to some value it may be negative or positive you can directly go for what phi of that value so i showed you how to calculate by calci okay let us proceed the next part is third part z is equal to 0. 0.44 to z is equal to 1.76 so it is nothing but 0 0.44 will be somewhere over here so z is equal to 0 0.44 to where you have to calculate till z is equal to 1.76 okay so z is equal to 1.76 between these two so the whole area you need to calculate now it is not from 0 to this we have to calculate the whole area no, it's the same as this. Now, if you see this, we know that it is symmetry. That, that also, you know. But the values are different. Okay. Now, thing is that simple. What you have to do? We have to just add these two. Correct? Why? Because, see over here. See, from here, if I suppose take only the right portion, then what happens? If I take only the right portion, right part, then... It is nothing but 0 to 1.76. So it is same as the first question. You can see here. 0 to some value. I said you before also. 0 to some value. You can calculate directly by what? Phi of that value. So I will write it as phi of 1.76. Correct? 0 to this. I need one more thing, left portion also. From 0 to 0 0.44 I want. So I will add zero phi of 0 0.44 simple that means once again i'll repeat we know that from zero to some value we know that it's nothing but phi of some value that means the same thing 1.76 left portion if you come if you come to the left portion then what is that 0 0.44 that is minus minus 0 0.44 now here the same thing you have to do we have done for first and second question adding both this that's it adding both this you will get the area now you can do it by what calci so i'll directly write the value of that so it's nothing but phi of 0 0.44 we can ignore that negative sign as i have said already plus phi of 1.76 now value will be 0 0.1700 plus 0 0.4608 that will be the value that will give me the answer as 0 0.6 0 0.6308 this will be my value okay let us move on to the last part of the question here we need to calculate the area of standard normal curve between z is equal to 0 0.57 and z is equal to 2.49 both are the positive values it will be on the right side of this origin so 0 0.57 so it will be somewhere around this i'll mark this point is 0 0.57 okay this way and here around this part it will be 2.49 okay so for the better understanding i can draw here also this part and this part okay so we need to calculate what 
the area between these two area between 0 z is equal to 0 0.57 and z is equal to 2.49 okay between these two that means between these two we need to calculate now how to calculate that no we cannot go for directly 0 to uh, like we have done for these three questions because it was from 0 something but here we cannot directly go for 0 to 2.49 but the thing is that so if we need to calculate this value what you have to do from the 0 to infinity or we can say one more thing we can do one more thing we can do from 0 to 2.49 if I take out this portion from here to here if I calculate and I remove this part I will get this part correct see here I want this portion I will calculate for the whole thing and I will remove this part I will get what this part that's the logic okay now from 0 to 2.49 that I have to calculate so I will write it here over here so required area how to calculate it is nothing but from z is equal to 0 to 2.49 I will calculate and I will subtract from what from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 0.57 okay this is the logic here now from z is equal to 0 see again the same thing 0 to some value as I said before it is nothing but phi of that value correct again minus z equal to 0 to some value it's same as phi of that value correct now I have to just calculate this and this and then subtract it is nothing but bigger value minus a smaller value correct bigger value phi of bigger value minus phi of smaller value it will be the same case when you consider the negative part also if I consider both negative numbers okay that will be taking up in the next video so phi of 2.49 phi of 2.49 will be from here to here I have to subtract this minus this this minus this so I will get this part so what is the value of that it is 0 0.4936 minus 0 0.2157 though so the final answer will be 0 0.2779 okay